Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by. I hope you're all doing great and you're having a fantastic day. So I have the Ipsy May Glam Bag for us to open up today. Now I've already opened up the Glam Bag Plus. I will leave that link down below if you are interested. So I also have a mystery bag. It's like the summer mystery bag that is headed my way. So it should be here soon. And of course I'll be sharing it with you guys if you are interested. So let's go ahead and see what we got in this month's bag. I'm going to be completely honest with you. I have not looked at too many spoilers or watched too many unbaggings. So let's see. I do have something outside of the box, which I think was an add-on. And okay. So this is what the bag looks like. Nice and summery. It has that pink kind of fade. It really reminds me of like a strawberry lemonade or some kind of like tropical drink. So when you open it up, let's see. Okay, we do have a card, which is exciting. Now, do we have the items inside? We do not. So once again, I didn't have a card. Well, I had a card, but it didn't give me the items and the prices for my Glam Bag Plus either. So we're just gonna go through the items together. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna pull out is this, and this is Pixie by Petra. Looks to be like a blush, yes. So this is in the shade Beach Rose in that uh, classic Pixie packaging. This is sealed up. I don't wanna open this. I do have quite a few blushes that I'm going through, but it looks like a beautiful color. It just looks like a nice muted rose, kind of like an everyday color. Um, so I'm just gonna set that to the side for a future giveaway. So that's the first thing. Next, I have this, and this is from First Aid Beauty. It's the Fab Pharma Arnica Relief and Rescue Mask. I have not heard of Arnica Relief before, so let's see. It says it's safe for sensitive skin, um, convenient, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> That was French. I was reading something in French. Um, okay, so it says apply to clean dry skin, allow to absorb tissue off any excess. Um, okay, so yeah, it's a mask. Just looks like some kind of like relief and rescue mask, probably for irritated skin. I know that First Aid Beauty is really good for like sensitive, irritated skin. Okay, the next thing. This was my choice item, I believe, and this is from Yensa. There's been quite a few products that we've gotten from Yensa lately, and I've actually enjoyed everything. So I think one of them was like the BB cream, and then I also got a primer. So this is the BC Concealer, the BB and CC Full Coverage. This is in the shade Fair Cool. Let's just give it a little squeeze here. And that is the shade right there. Um, I am self tanned right now, so it probably would be too fair for me right now, but I do believe that when I am not self tanned that this will match me perfectly, and it definitely looks to be a full coverage, um, and I do like the way it's kind of working into the skin, the more I kind of like work it in. I do actually really, really like that, so I can't wait to give this a try whenever I am not self tanned, obviously. Okay, and then, is this it? That's it. <laughs> the last thing I have here is this itty bitty teeny tiny thing from Tarte. This is the Jelly Glaze. And that is what that looks like right there. And I do believe that this is like a lip mask. Strawberry Jelly. Let's see. Pretty sure. Yeah, so this is a lip mask. It's very, very tiny. I don't know why they couldn't just do a little bit more. Uh, it's in a little squeezy tube, so I don't want to put too much out. And there you go, right there. Ooh, that is thick. That is thick. It does have like a sh strawberry smell, I guess. That's it right there. You know, honestly, it kind of reminds me of the way, did you guys ever take amoxicillin growing up? It was like the pink milky um, antibiotic that you know most pediatricians gave kids for like earaches or ear infections. I always got ear infections and so I always had to take um, amoxicillin and that's what it smells like, like spot on. It is very thick so um, I definitely would probably apply this at night and sleep in it and then it probably would help my lips to be super 
moisturized in the morning when I wake up. So I guess that's it. Was there anything in my bag that was loose? Oh, haha, there is. There is a brush. Okay, I was wondering, because I only had one, two, three, four, so this is the fifth item. So last but not least, I do have a brush, and this is from Farrah Brushes. You guys know how I feel about my brushes. So here we go right there. It's like a nice domed, fluffy brush. Very full and dense, but still soft. It does have a little bit of give to it. And the handle is really, really pretty. It's like a pinky kind of metallic color there. So I do really, really love that. And my add-on, if you guys are interested, is the, I think it's the 111 Skin or 111 Skin. This is the Vitamin C Brightening Booster. I do have some discoloration, some sunspots as I get older that are just starting to peek through. So anything that's vitamin C, I am all about. Uh, I do like that it's in this darker glass bottle, so that way it preserves the vitamin C in there. And this is pretty pricey. I want to say I got it, you know, as an add-on for super cheap, but I think it might retail for upwards of 80 to 100 or something like that. So I definitely got a good deal on that. All right, so let's go over everything that was in our May Ipsy Glam bag. And this is just the $12 a month. So we have our brush, we have the blush from Pixie, we have the Yinsa concealer, we have the uh, rescue mask from First Aid Beauty, and then we have the Jelly Glaze lip mask from Tarte. Pretty good ba uh, bag, I guess, you know. It, I feel like, I don't know, I just feel like I have a bunch of tubes, <laughs> you know. I, I have a bunch of tubes. Now this I did choose, so I get that, but you know, then we have these two tubes and there's like hardly anything in this guy. Um, and then really the only like cosmetic thing that I got was this blush. So I don't know, Ipsy usually does a pretty good job with me like as far as building my bag around my profile and everything. But this, this to me just seems like this would be for a bag for someone that like was not comfortable with makeup. And I put on my profile that I'm, I'm comfortable with makeup. But you can't win every month. I do feel like they've been killing it, so it's okay that this month isn't like the most amazing bag I've ever had. I'm, I'm not gonna complain. So anyway, that is that. Thanks guys so much for watching. Please keep on subscribing and sharing and growing the fam here. And uh, until next time, bye.